I'm just going to go for different attacks and angles. Uh, we've been working on a lot of angles on going forward lately, so I'm going to put some of them together tonight. Different ranges and stuff. I'd say we've been working this stuff. Even before that last fight, this sort of, we didn't really get to show off a lot of the hands the last time. There's a lot more grappling, but we've got it. We've got it in the freaking toolbox, so maybe this time. We'll see it. Paul just wanted to show up his grappling last time. Hi. <laughs> I wanted to be Paul heard the commentator saying I'm just a striker versus the graveler. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like Michael Jordan, you ever see it? He said that, and I took offense to that. <laughs> That's me. Featherweight, I feel, I feel like an absolute beast of feather. I really, I don't think anyone's gonna be as strong as me in that weight. And I think you've seen that in that last fight there. You know what I mean? I'm as strong as I come, and my pace nobody can match. So it's exciting. But I'm exciting to see who they put me with next, and hopefully that's it for that number one contender spot. I would like to think so after that last performance, and then getting that world title early next year. That's what I'm doing this for. You know what I mean? That's why I'm putting these errors in. They can't deny me after that last performance. Do you know what I mean? I took out. I'm one of the top guys in the division, one of the top guys in the UK, a veteran of the sport, um, and I demolished him. Like, in much respect to him, but I mauled him. In every aspect of, of the game, I mauled him. focus now is obviously for six weeks and that grain's being put in right now. It has been since. It took, it took the longest time it took off after a fight there. I took a full week and a half where I didn't train. To be, I fought on the Saturday, was back in the gym training on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and then I went to Germany for a week and a half, had a bit of time off and it was it was well needed. I mean from my last fight in March where, where I fought Gary Panada, uh, Cage Warriors Manchester, I hadn't stopped. Like that was literally the week before the week before the whole world went into lockdown. Um, so first of all, very fortunate to even get that fight. But the world lockdown and since that, um, I've literally like I had keys to the gym here and I've I've literally just been living in it. Like to be honest, six of the hardest months of my life, to be honest. Like obviously the whole lockdown affected everybody. Um, in different ways, but it was the isolation of it all. I mean, not having the guys in the gym coming in here every day by myself for months, and it just set me in that different headspace of like, it almost sent me in the top 20 first in mode, that's how I would describe it. Where I was in here like four, five, six hours training some days. That's what I'm saying about the week and a half off. Came back totally mentally refreshed, and here we are. I'm, I'm a few weeks now into a hard, hard graft. And that's good. I'm so, so excited. I'm so grateful that I have another opportunity to fight again in six weeks. That'll be three fights this year in the, freaking, in the year of the pandemic. Do you know what I mean? So I'm very fortunate, very grateful to have that. Give me Friday night sweat. As I said, them boys are absolute savages, you know what I mean? They're all clap top Muay Thai guys. I'm just trying to pick their brains, you know what I mean? I'm, them guys are levels ahead of me in like with like the rhythm of, the, of a Muay Thai fight. Obviously, I don't fight Muay Thai MMA. It's, it, is, it is almost a complete, not a completely different uh, stand-up game, but it's very, very different in terms of the range. Like, these guys just stand in front of each other. Like, in Thailand, they say no steps back, you know what I mean? And these guys all fight no steps back. Whereas in MMA, like, you're doing a, it's a lot longer of a range that you're fighting at because obviously you have the threat of the takedown. So it's a different spar, but getting comfortable just in that range of just trading and returning and returning and catching, sweeping. It's, it helps my game, I find any time I spar with these guys, when I get in a good routine of it, like, it transfers over very well to my MMA sparring because once you spar with these very high, high level strikers, like, it's, they're a lot faster, I feel, than MMA fighters. So, I mean, obviously MMA, you can switch it up with a throw of the takedown. It changes the whole dynamic of the spar. 
but uh, it's it's just a good it's good to cover all bases. You know what I mean? And that's it's really really fun training. Um, I think that's the first time I've ever seen anyone put you on the ground. Hi, that's what I said. I get taken more. I get taken down more in the Muay Thai spar with these guys than I do in a freaking wrestling session. You know what I mean? But that's a, that's what I say. They're so sharp. You throw a kick, they're catching it and fucking putting you in your hole in a second. Which is which is unreal. Do you know what I mean? That's that's why I'm doing it. Do you know what I mean? I push the comfort zone, get beat up as you've seen. I got thrown in my friggin' hole about ten times there, which is exactly what I'm doing this for. You know what I mean? So yeah, it's good, it's good fun and it's always it's a learning process. This is the hardest work now, at least for me. Like this is where the sessions are longer. This is where the strength conditioning is a bit longer. You know what I mean? As we get closer to the fight we taper and we go shorter, more explosive, so it's this is the longest, the longest days. You know I mean, there's four or five hours being put in some days in the mats, like so. It's a total grind, and you know I mean, if it was easy, everyone would do it. It's very, very simple. You know what I mean? People like to use the, the wee excuses of, oh, it's a lockdown, it's a circuit breaker, we don't have to train. I mean, people use these excuses, so they do, and they'll use that excuse after I batter them in the fight as well, but I don't know. It's good.